the initial thought process of having accelerated bridge construction um, actually um, started uh, when me and Gary Evans, the chief engineer at the time, uh, we actually went to Salt Lake City to view um, the efforts that they had ongoing there regarding um, uh, moving, a, not just sliding a bridge, but literally transporting a pre-built bridge in place. Greg and Gary brought the idea of sliding a bridge into place back to Oklahoma and started working on finding the right location. We needed a site where we could build the substructure beneath the existing structure and that uh, of course helped plan or minimize uh, the length of time that the traffic was going to be disturbed. So in this case we found a, a bridge that was higher than it really needed to be in terms of hydraulics. And so we were able to build build beneath the existing bridge and that just helped us be able to actually do at this at this particular site. Mark Williams is the engineering manager at the Sand Springs residency and the ODOT inspector on this project. I visited him during the pre-construction meeting last year. What we'll do is we'll build the temporary deck portion of the bridge and a new bottom portion of the bridge while traffic is still on the bridge and then when it comes time to put the deck on we'll close the traffic down on the highway just for that portion and we've allowed 21 days for the detour to be in place in that case instead of what would have normally been 180 to 200 days. The new piers and abutments were constructed in the summer of 2013. Then a temporary steel frame was built to hold up the new beams and deck. During that time, State Highway 51 remained open and drivers did not experience any delays. I like that because, again, because you're not, you're not subjecting the public to a change condition that they have to get used to. Um, and I, I believe that they'll, they'll find that this is a, a lot more uh, tolerable to have a short-term interruption than it would be for us to have 180 days where they had to go around 25 miles plus on a detour. Jumping ahead to September 2014. The beams and deck are finished and now it's time to slide the three bridge sections into place. The contractor decides to slide the outer sections first so he can finish the bridge approach and construct the guardrail while the middle section is being moved. The average time of the sliding process is one day per bridge section. After the bridge is striped and gets a final visual inspection from Mark and James, the road is ready to be opened again, only 10 days after it was closed. We're very proud of the accomplishment. Uh, we're satisfied with the product that we got. Uh, every time you do something new, there's a lot of things that you now know that you would do differently, uh, but there was, because there was a lot of engineering challenges to this project, uh, a lot of construction challenges to this project, but overall, I think we got a real quality product. Uh, it rides really well. And the fact that it was done in 10 days shows that you can minimize this so it's applicable in other locations besides this one.